Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Edward. This is a weekend edition kit in 172nd scale and it copies aircraft which is named as Avia B534 second series. So as a weekend edition it means that we will get only two markings, you can actually see them on the box art and there won't be any bonus in form of uh, masks or P parts, you will have to get these separately, they will be sold on official Edward website but that also means that this package will be cheaper more accessible and maybe more interesting for some others who don't want to get some extra bonuses in the box so this is a commercial sample it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review we are going to open it and check what is actually included inside so first of all box size is standard for 70 second scale kits from Edward here you can see comparison with my hand as I said here on the box art we have two markings which are included into this kit then on the side we have number of the kit and some safety information and on the opposite side you'll find again two markings which are included into this kit and paints which will be necessary for assembly of this model. So let's open it, it's a top opening box and here is what we have inside. So now as you can see all frames are packed into the plastic bag and then on the bottom we have assembly manual and decals, we will check it a bit later. First of all, we will start with plastic as usual. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us by clicking the special donate button on our website. It is quite easy to do. And of course, you will decide how much we will get. And of course, all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment, maybe for new kits. And I mean, everything to improve our reviews. So. Here we have first plastic sprue, as you saw it was packed into the separate plastic bag, we are going to zoom in a bit. So here we have canopy parts and there are several canopy versions, so obviously several of them will go into your spare parts, molding quality looks really good, but there are no masks included, so if you would like to cover them somehow, you have to get them as a separate product from Edward, or maybe you have to cut them with your own hands, it will depend on you, but keep in mind that weekend edition typically do not feature or does not feature the mask sheet so everything is on your side let's say next we go on with first gray plastic sprue so here we have physiology halves both are molded without tail section also here we have the separate top cover which will be placed on the top and as far as I remember we have here the open version so that means you will have to solve seams only in the tail area which is really cool because it will simplify the assembly and if you zoom in here you can see that we have standard external detailing it means recess panel lines and also nice imitation of the fabric surface here and note that machine gun barrels are molded in and if I flip over here inside you can see that we have guiding pins and there is no cockpit. Cockpit will be assembled separately and then will be installed between fuselage halves so like it or not but I mean it should be glued out of several parts. Okay so that was the first grey plastic sprue. Next we go on with Another one, this one is dedicated to wing parts, so don't forget that this is a biplane, so that's why we have two wings, these two are obviously the lower ones and this is the top section. Now ailerons are molded in, here we have also some tail parts and wing struts can be found here. Molding quality looks really cool and because these parts are provided as one piece elements it means easier and faster assembly and of course it will be um, less gaps on your model so some models will really appreciate such stuff. Next we have last grey plastic sprue so this one is dedicated to mix of various parts so for example here you can find two cockpit walls here you can see propellers here we have landing gear wheels one piece pilot seat again landing gear wheels but with fairings um, cockpit floor also here we have parts for the landing gear struts so everything is here and molding quality looks really good we can zoom in even more so that you can see how these parts look like in a zoomed in version let's say. There is no flash, no any other possible molding damage so I really doubt that you have any possible issues or complications with these parts. As far as I remember when I assembled the first test sample of this Avia 
it was really slick and easy to build kit so I didn't have any issues here and I think definitely you won't have them in the commercial release and again molding quality will greatly contribute to this next we have small plastic bag as you remember with decals this is a resealable plastic bag again so I'm going to open it and take it outside of course decals are printed in Edward and because this kit was released before acquiring new printers it is printed on old printers as you can see it's written here 2018 and printing quality still looks nice we have even decals for the seat belts and for the instrument panel here so I mean out of the box you will get cockpit covered but if you would like to have more you can get uh, original Edward P set or maybe some resin parts in order to enhance the appearance of your small avia and next we have the assembly manual so here it is so let's zoom out a bit now you should be able to see it so here we have short history note on the first page then we flip over this page and here you can see the parts map and note how many parts won't be used so they can be thrown straight away to your spare parts box because they won't be needed for the assembly of uh, second series here you can see that assembly process starts with cockpit parts actually with um, engine radiator then we continue with cockpit wall then another cockpit wall is installed from the opposite side from the right left side Next, on the, on the third step, we start working on the cockpit floor and pilot seat. And it's really funny that padding on the pilot seat is molded separately. Of course, as you remember, we have the decal for the instrument panel. Then all this stuff gets closed between fuselage house. And note that chin panel is molded separately. Actually, this is a bottom coal panel. And as you remember, the top section is molded as a single piece parts. Uh, part so you won't have any obvious seams in this area which is really cool in my opinion next we continue with lower wings so again here you can see that for mark and b you have to install this thing on the wing i'm not sure what is this maybe some air intake next we continue with struts for the tail wings and as you remember we installed here the tail fin and rudder so that's why everything is in place on this step Next we continue with more struts for the top wing. So here you can see the alignment of all this stuff together. Um, these struts should be slightly V-shaped so you should be careful and try to get this fitment right because otherwise it will be just a uh, tilted wing or something else. I mean it looks a bit tricky, it might be for some unexperienced modelers but if you had experience with biplanes this won't be a really difficult task for you. Next we continue with special racks for the bombs. Here you install various struts for the landing gear. As you can see landing gear wheels are separate. As far as I remember Edward produces also brassine upgrade for this part of aircraft so if you would like to have even better detailing you can get resin wheels. Again we have some specific parts for the Mark and B only so be sure to copy them. Next we continue with windscreen. Uh, once again I remind you that there are no masks included so you have to cover it with your own hands. And next starts really interesting stuff because you have to do a lot of rigging here on this aircraft. In 170 second scale it will be a bit tedious procedure so there is no point in covering it up. I mean we can say it straight it will take some time. Unless you have some experience and you are really good with biplanes no matter which scale you will have to spend some time trying to rig all the wings and also all the struts. Here we have two marking guides. So first marking guide comes uh, or marking option comes from May 1938 from Hradec Kralove and another one is from... I'm trying to read the Kaminica not Tsiroho. Okay so airfield September 1937 so this was aircraft which required some additional options so be careful if you choose to copy this marking option and here on the last page we have stenciling guide so even though this is a 170 second scale kit still we get some stencils included out of the box which is really cool in 170 second scale it will be a notable bonus let's say and once you apply them on the model they will enhance the appearance of the kit 
So as I said, this kit is already available on official Edward website. If you would like to get it, just go there and order it. Um, of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye.